Hi, my name is Stephanie Farron. I'm the technology facilitator at David W. Butler High School. This quick video tutorial is how to set up and use Mastery Pass in Canvas. So the first thing you need to know is that Mastery Pass will work best if you set it up with a pre-graded quiz. It's important to have all your items already created before you try to set up your Mastery Pass. Um, these items can include quizzes, assignments, discussion groups, any item that is not a content page or not an item that is not graded. Mastery's Pass will set up in modules in Canvas. Since this will differentiate what students will see based on their uh, grade, uh, it will not sync with PowerSchool as not all students will have all the same assignments. So this is a great tool to provide differentiation, review, or personalization in the Canvas experience for students. I'm going to start in Canvas in a Canvas course, and I'm going to show you what a completed module in uh, Mastery Pass should look like. So I'm going to go to the modules page, and then once I'm in the modules page, I'm going to go to the bottom because that's where I've created my module. A Mastery Pass should look like this. It should have a quiz at the beginning, which should say Mastery Pass off to the right, and then the assignments that I've added will say either multiple or a grade point range, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is decide what quiz you wanna put in to start your mastery path, and then what assignments you want your students to go. Um, a great tool all the time with this is to always check in student view to make sure that your mastery path works correctly before you assign it to students. So just in case, I'm gonna hit reset student view so you can see what it looks like. Again, I'm still in my modules page. But for students, if Mastery Pass are set correctly, when they're looking in that module, all they will see, um, and I'm going to fast for Canvas, all they will see is the module itself and the quiz. If they will not see any other work because it will say it's locked until the Mastery Path is graded. Once they complete that quiz and get a grade, based on the grade, they will be assigned work that you have set as a teacher. So this is the way it should look if it's set up correctly for students. So let's talk about how to set it up. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do as a teacher is we are gonna to want to go back to that module page. <clears throat> and on that module page, we're gonna click a new module. And I'm gonna just call mine since I already have one up here. I'm gonna call this um, Mastery Pass 2. You do not need to set any prerequisites because the Mastery Pass will literally set your prerequisites. Okay, so at the bottom of the page, Mastery Pass 1, Mastery Pass 2 is set up. It's not turned on, there's nothing in it. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add and I'm going to add some assignments. The first thing I want to do is I want to add a quiz. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of quiz you add. And then I want to add a couple of assignments that I want the kids to do. Um, again, any of them will work except for a page, a content page, because content pages cannot be graded. Um, so I can put in multiple quizzes if I want to do a review. I can put in a discussion. Um, I can put in um, a, an assignment. Um, you can assign um, the same assignment to each level. Um, it's up to you how you want to, um, what items you want to do. Okay, so let me just throw a few up here. All right, now, once I have this done, the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I wanna go into each of my assignments. And in my assignments, I want it to say that the only people that it's gonna be assigned to is Mastery Pass, not to a particular class period, not to anyone else. So I will go down my assignment page, okay? And I wanna come down um, this group discussion, I need to make sure it's graded, so that way I will have um, assigned to. Okay, and then instead of assigning it to everyone, I'm going to assign it only to Mastery Pass. Okay, you do not have to put a due date on it. You can put a due date on it, um, but you do need to make sure it just says Mastery Pass. It will warn you that you should assign it to multiple sections. You hit continue anyway. You only want it assigned to Mastery Pass. And then I want to go back into my modules and do the same for my other two classes, or my other assignments. Now, once I have gone in and taken all my assignments and changed the assignment due to only Mastery Pass, now it is time to sync it to my quiz and say what the threshold for the grade will be to assign it to other students. So I'm going to click on my quiz and click that three-dot menu. Again, I'm on the modules page and click Mastery Pass. Once I'm here, it's going to open up the Mastery Pass tab to the quiz, and I'm going to decide what grade I want my students to get and 
what assignments I want to give them. So you notice they're all blank. The first thing I want to do is say I want to add, and again, it will pull up all your items that you have in your Canvas. So I have already written down, so I won't forget what my assignments were that I put into Mastery Paths. I will simply click them and add. If I want to add another assignment to this grade point range, I would click it. Now, one other thing you can do is you can select and or. Um, if you remember your Boleyn operators, if you make it and, it means that student will get both assignments they have to complete. If you give it or, the students will get both assignments and they only can, they can complete one or the other, they'll see both. So it's up to you how you want to do and and or. Um, you also can change the point value. So right now the top is 78 points down to 54.6. Um, then we also have down to 31.2 and down to zero. If you click in the box, you can change or edit that cutoff range for what where the students would get the uh, assignments. So you're going to go in and add the items that you have selected and already put into Mastery Paths. And then once you do that, you're going to hit save. We're going to assume you've already checked your Canvas quiz and it is correct because again, everything should have already been created. So I'm back on my modules page and when I scroll down, I should now see that the quiz itself says mastery pass and then it will say what the grade point range is for all the assignments. Um, all assignments need to be turned on and so does the module. It needs to be published so we can see it. Now if we check it in student view, we should see the quiz in the module that it should say locked for all other items until the student completes that mastery path. Okay, so we have three things in our mastery path, but they can't see it until we uh, take the quiz. So a good thing to do is to check that student view, practice it, try making the quiz into those threshold ranges and make sure that the student is assigned only the items that you want in that mastery path. Now, the cool thing for a teacher is once your students get a mastery path and take it, if you go back to the quiz itself, it will tell you how many students fell into what grade range and what they were assigned. Um, so it does give you some um, information that you can use uh, in evaluating your students. You still will see the grades for everything, especially if you're putting pre-graded assignments in there. So hopefully this is clear. I'm also gonna add a couple other quizzes so you can see that as well. Um, but that way you'll be able to see um, how your students have done. Good luck and mastery pass.